Hi everyone, I am Dinesh, Faculty for Science and Technology, Shankar IIS Academy. Over here, I am going to deliver some information regarding how to approach the science and technology for the forthcoming prelims 2020 for the UPC examination. So we have setting kind of a strategy. So I am going to decode the strategy in three segments. The first segment we will be going with respect to the decoding of the syllabus. Because the question what we have seen so far from the UPC examination had an exact relevance with respect to the keyword which is clearly given in the syllabus. So the first segment we are going to do with respect to the decoding of the syllabus and second segment we will be going with respect to the methodology. So methodology in sense in order to learn the space technology we used to follow some methodology. In order to learn the defense technology some methodology is there. So like that we will be speaking about the methodology and types of questions. Generally we used to observe five different types of a question that arises from the science and tech. So that is the second strategy that we are going to see in the second segment. Third segment we will be moving with respect to the in focus analysis. Complete detailed picture about space technology, where we need to start, where we need to focus, where high importance need to be given. Like that, in detail analysis will be focused in the third segment. So these are the three segments what I have scheduled to give an orientation for the strategical approach for the forthcoming prelims 2020 for civil service examination. So first let me explain you with the weightage. So weightage of the subject science and technology in case of your prelims, where if you are observing this graph, I had taken this graph from 2011 to 2019. From 2011 to 2019, if you are observing the graph, you can able to find right from 2014 onwards, slowly the number of questions from the science and tech had a steady state increase. If you are observing with 2019, the latest, we got about 18 questions. 18 questions came out from the science and tech alone. So this is the weightage what the subject tend to have. So why we nowadays we tend to have more number of questions from science and tech? What makes to have much more importance means? Since you have a common examination for the forest services as well as for civil service examination, the preliminary examination is common. If they want to strengthen the nature of question in the sense, now you need no other option to be left out, you need to have more number of science based questions. So that can be the real reason and moreover, when you come for satisfying both the examinations, you can able to observe the number of biological based questions will be keep on increasing. That is the trend what we are seeing with respect to the last 2-3 two, two, years, where the number of questions from the biology is keep on increasing. But make one thing is very clear that. It is a common man examination. What is required means subject in depth analysis, subject expert knowledge is not required. You need to know what is what. That is clearly said with respect to the syllabus itself. So, it is a common man examination. Try to read this topic in a common man style. Need not to go for any kind of a research based articles, need not to go for any kind of a hypothesis based news. So, you need to be very selective in reading the current affairs and other things so that you can be able to filter it out which is essential for my preparation, which is not essential. So that one important strategy you need to follow when you come for science and technology because the subject nature is purely it is a kind of a current affairs based subject. It is a purely current affairs based subject that current affairs word is clearly given in the syllabus itself. That is what I am going to say in the next slide. So make it clear it is a 10th standard examination. So you not to have any kind of in depth subject knowledge is not required. Peripheral knowledge is more than enough. Peripheral knowledge is more than enough. Okay. So now so the weightage is keep on increasing. So last year in 2019 we got about 18 questions. What is the possibility you can expert in sense? Possibility can be in the range of about some 13 to 15 questions can be there. Or once again, you can able to expert the same 18 also. You can expert 13 to 15. That will be the reasonable number of questions you can expert. So this is the weightage you tend to have. So next, the first segment, decoding the syllabus and the weightage for the segment one. So in the case of the decoding the syllabus, go with respect to the UPC syllabus, what they had given. So it's very clear with the syllabus itself. Science and technology development and their application and everyday effect in their life. So now, development and their application and effect in everyday life in sense. Nowadays, this is one among the area where they keep on increasing with the number of questions. Classic example, 2019, we got a question with respect to the argument reality, virtual reality. Anyhow, the argument reality and virtual reality is highly connected to your daily life, somewhere else. Moreover, the second question that we got in the same year 2019 prelims is that LTE and the volt. The LTE and volt is highly connected to the mobile generation networks. In that case, nowadays your daily life is having anyhow touch with respect to the mobile generation. Now you need to be have a clear cut idea what is this LTE, what is this volt stands for. And here also make it very clear that the sentence what they are framed in order to put this question is kind of a common man sentence only, not a kind of a technical sentence. Technicality is not required. Two depth subject knowledge is not required. Peripherally, you need to know about what is this LTE. Whether this LTE is 3G or 4G. Whether this volt is kind of a 4G or 3G. And volt they are saying that voice. Whether it can able to support only for a voice or even can support for a non-voice. Like that, basic information is more than enough. This is what they have framed the question. So, 
try to focus with respect to the terms and new kind of a technology that you come across on everyday life this is where they keep on centering with the number of question same relevance you can able to see in 2018 question paper also they got a question about the bim application so nowadays we tend to have more number of digital mode of payment system is getting flourish in the market begin each and every types of digital mode of transaction definitely some technology need to be behind that to guide their mode of transaction so you need to be very clear that what kind of a technology is guiding for such a kind of a payment so that's the reason they are go gone with respect to the bim technology that was a question we got in 2018 2017 we got question about oled even as a common man style if you step into any kind of a television showroom to purchase any kind of a television brand you can able to come across previously we had the presence of crt monitors after that we went with respect to the lcd after that then era for the led had been started from the led we had started to move towards oled now we are standing in the qled quantum leds so you need to be very clear that what is happening in and around us in and around us and that too you need to have a basic information that basic information more than enough hope that you will be getting clear with respect to first line of the syllabus try to gather the information what happens in and around you that's the first line second line achievements of indians in the science and technology okay when come for an achievement if you observe this word achievement we have a general preoccupied thought that achievement means it speaks about the personalities of course personalities in the form of a scientist can be given as a meaning for the word achievement but don't stop reading in such a way by giving importance only to the personality expand your way of learning in such a way achievements can be done by an individual person as well as achievements can be done even by an organization too if chandrayaan 2 had done successful landing with respect to the moon surface now what happened that is an achievement what team isro might be achieving in that case achievement too can be brought out even by an organization also so like that try to focus this word achievement in such a way by focusing with an individual person okay where about the individual personality where i can able to consider it means just go with respect to the recent prices what an individual personality had obtained and that too to be specific very clear with this word achievements of indians if any indian personality if any indian scientist is obtaining such a kind of a prize for the first time in the field of a science or such a kind of a repeated such a kind of a prize in sense pay an attention and generally even you can able to express such a kind of a question from a non indian scenario also and in case of a non indian scenario the specification will be in such a way with respect to the nobel prizes and other things there you need to have a touch with respect to who are obtaining the nobel prize for the physics and what relevance in what particular field you are obtaining it so you won't have a question about the personality name instead of that the area in which they are obtaining the prizes will be a kind of a question or the technology which are guided for them to achieve the prizes for example 2019 nobel prize for the physics got awarded for the two different areas of their research in the physics one with respect to the composition of universe which occupies more either is a dark matter or dark energy or is a kind of visible matter which accounts more that composition for that a person had received a nobel prize parallelly in the same physics one more person had received a nobel prize for his successful contribution for the discovery of exoplanets and their systematic arrangements in that case you can expect the question either from the exoplanets or from the composition of the universe so this is how you need to focus with respect to the second line of the syllabus achievements next indigenization of technology <coughs> and developing new technology okay very clear with the word indigenization home grown technology now we not to fit this indigenization of technology you can able to fit this word towards any particular sector of science and tech in case of an space technology we have indigenization in the form of a mission we have an indigenization chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan one is an indigenous mission mangalyaan is an indigenous mission or else you can go with respect to the launch vehicle pslv gslv everything is indigenous so indigenization is one such a kind of a word you can able to fit to all particular sectors of science and technology in each and every sector of snt you can able to fit this word so now with respect to the difference any of the with respect to difference indigenization comes in the form of missiles and other such a kind of a weaponry systems so this is a way how you need to put the word indigenization next for the information technology indigenization comes in the form of a supercomputers param series of computers and recently you have you need to have a touch with respect to what are the new so super computers got added to the param series like the param shavak like that you need to have a touch so that's what they are saying under the second word indigenization the third line of the syllabus is clearly saying that awareness in the field of it space computers robotics nanotechnology biotechnology and the ipr related issues so make it clear please make a strict note with respect to this word awareness awareness means current affairs awareness means current affairs you need to have a clear cut attachment with respect to the current affairs to deal with the some things that happens in the field of it space computers robotics and nanotechnology these are the areas where you need to focus what happened in the recent times 
We have to worry about the in detail analysis. If such a kind of a mission is happening, means you need to aware. If they are saying that Parker is such a kind of a mission got launched by NASA to explore which among the celestial body instance, you need to know about the celestial body which had been selected by the NASA for the exploration. It may be a sun. Now, in that case, in case of a sun, what their mission objective? Okay, they will be having setting enough of a mission objective. Whether this Parker solar probe had been grouped under any such kind of existing program, this much amount of information is more than enough. For example, Parker aims to explore the sun. That's one point of information. Next, you need to have an awareness who executed this mission. Whether it's a giant mission or individual mission, you need to have an information. It's a mission executed by the NASA. Third information you need to know about the mission objective. The mission objective aims to study about the solar space, interplanetary space, as well as the geospace. Main focus, the primary objective to study about solar space. It means it aims to study about the coronal region after the interplanetary space, after the geospace. To connect interplanetary space and geospace, you need to have a touch with respect to solar wind. This is how you need to complete it. This is the third point you need to gather from this information, awareness. Fourth, whether this mission is subject to have how many tires? Some mission will have orbiter, lander and rover. Some will have only the orbiter. Like that, you need to have some information whether it's orbiter mission or a non-orbiter. And moreover, it's so kind of an in-situ. In-situ means on-site analysis. In-situ orbiter analysis. It comes under a program named as a living with the star program of NASA. All together, to complete this topic of Parker, how many information is required in sense? Only five information. If they are framing any such kind of a question based upon Parker and sense, anyhow, the question will be getting circulated within this five statement only. Beyond this area, if they are moving in sense, it will be a kind of a technicality. Technicality is not recommended for civil service examination premise. It's a kind of a non-technical examination only. Since it's a common one examination, beyond this area, if they are framing the sentence in sense, it will be a technical statement. Hope you can able to get it. This is how you need to approach the topic. Awareness in the field of IT, space, computers and everything. And finally, pay attention, issues. Issues related to the IPR. When you come for issues related to the IPR, 2019, one such a kind of an issue happened in India with respect to the IPR infringement case that got filed by the PepsiCo company versus the potato farmers in the Gujarat region. In that case, please pay attention what are such a kind of an issue that came arise in the year of 2019, slightly move beyond 2019 in the such a way with 2018, what are the issues we are faced. So that these kind of information is more than enough in order to deal with a topic named as an issues related to the IPR. Even though the syllabus says that issues related to the IPR, parallelly you need to have some information about what is this trademark, what is this copyright, what is this trade secret, like that you need to have some basic idea of information that need to be done for the last part. So this is the syllabus which is being recommended for you for the prelims. And moreover, this is a common syllabus which is even expanded even for your mains also. Hope you will be getting some clear cut idea about the syllabus. Further, how to deal with the syllabus in sense, you can able to segregate. So far, many of you guys, you'll be feeling that science and technology is such a kind of a uh, tough subject, how I need to deal. You'll be giving more amount of importance to the other subject, least importance alone you'll be giving to the subject. That's what I have seen with respect to the plenty of aspects. The only thing is, what makes them to give the least importance means that they are being threatening in nature. So how to deal with the subject? I don't have such a kind of a subject knowledge. I stopped in learning the science and the science subject in the 10th standard itself. After that, I never opened the science book like that. Plenty of preoccupied thought will be running in your mind. Make it one thing as a clear. No one is there as a person who had never touched a science book. At least up to 10th standard level, you might be having a science as one among the subject. Even UPC also says that questions will be based upon the 10th standard knowledge. And awareness is given. Awareness in sense, as a matter of reading the current affairs, you will be having setting up awareness. This much amount of information is more than enough to tackle the question. Please make one point as clear. Science and technology is one such a kind of a question area where you can able to boost your marks. If you're giving little much amount of attention, that's more than enough. You can able to show some edge in your marks. Your cutoff will have some edge in your cutoff. In that case, science and technology is one such a kind of a unique subject. Okay. What I had done in sense, I had segregated the science and technology to make it much more simple. Anyhow, I want you to learn something from the science and technology to answer some questions for the forthcoming problems. What I had done in sense, I have segregated the science and technology into two segments, part one and the part two. Okay. What do you need to do with respect to part one in sense? So far, we have spoken about the syllabus. I am going to segregate those syllabus word into the part one. Where in part one, deal with respect to the space technology. Second, deals with respect to the defense technology. Third, deals with respect to the electronics and green technology. Parallelly, cover government policies 
on programs related to 1, 2 and 3. The 1, 2 and 3, the government related programs and schemes related to 1, 2, 3 need to be covered. If a segregating like this, now what will be having in sense, at a certain time period, we will be having certain kind of a confidence that, okay, I had done something as a kind of a learning for the science and technology. I had done some kind of a justification for this subject. That one satisfaction will be there, need to be there. So this is one such a kind of a thing, how we can able to get that satisfaction as a matter of segregating this topic, segregating the subject into two segments, part two, one. Then what we are going to see in case of the part two in sense, in the part two, information technology, robotics. Second, nuclear technology, third, nanotechnology plus particle science. Fourth, biotechnology plus health issues. So, IPR related issues. Finally, as well, here also try to complete it with respect to the government policies and programs. Okay. So, like this, try to do the segregation. If you are doing the segregation, at least you can able to find it out, okay, these are the areas I need to focus. Now, in that segregated area, try to give the importance such a way, based upon the weightage, what we had observed from the individual subtopic in the previous years of questions. So, among the three areas, three major areas, what I had mentioned, which tend to hold more amount of importance in sense in the first segment, defense technology holds more amount of information. So, this is the highest priority which you need to give. Space, sorry, space technology is need to have the highest priority. Next highest priority comes further. Second priority need to be there for the defense. So, space occupies for the first highest. Second priority you can go for the defense. And third, you can go for the electronics. If you are moving in such a way, now what you can able to do in sense, you won't skip any such a kind of a topic because least importance is there for the electronics, more is there for the space technology. If you are taking the previous year question paper analysis, you can able to find at least two questions will be there in a year from the space technology. Either question will be connected to the uh, launch vehicle satellite or the question will be connected to the celestial bodies or you can able to expect a question from the international space agencies missions. When you come for a question based upon international space agency, we can't be able to have a wide guess from which space agency they used to frame a question. It can be from NASA, it can be from European space agency, anywhere else they can able to frame a question. Anyhow, space-based question always will be there in the problems question paper. If you're moving with the difference, we never received any such kind of a question on the difference during last year. 2019, we have never received a question. 2018, we have never received it. 2017, we got it. Before the 2015, we got it. So like that, in a year wise, randomly, you can able to have a question based on the difference. And third area is electronics and green technology. Electronics and green technology, nowadays we are receiving some number of questions to be high. And moreover, in that case also, the question will be connected to the current affairs only. So that's the reason I'm mentioning that electronics and green technology falls under the third category. So like that, try to prioritize your study. Next, similar to second of a thing, for the part two, more importance need to be given for the IT topic. Because IT is one such a kind of a topic which can able to fulfill the Keyword which is present in our syllabus, application and development of science and technology in everyday life. To satisfy that single particular word, this is one such a kind of a topic which can able to satisfy your need. So try to start your preparation for the part two with the help of information technology. And next to that IT, go with respect to the biotechnology. Second. Second is biotechnology. So nowadays, we keep on having more number of questions that arises from the biotechnology and health related issues. Third priority, give for the nuclear technology. Fourth, you can go for the nanotechnology particle science. In case of nanotechnology particle science, once again, I remind you, you need not to have any 
basic information about how a nanotechnology works, what kind of a process we tend to follow when it comes for fabrication of nanoparticles, nothing is required. You need to focus the current of his to the nanotechnology and the particle science. In that case, purely the question will be there from the current of his. If you are familiar with the current of his, then nothing will be tedious in, in order to deal with nanotechnology and particle science. So that comes with respect to the fourth importance. And fifth, pain importance with respect to the IPR. One question will be there or two questions will be there from the IPR. But major area will be the IT in this case. As usual, once you have done it, connect each and every topic with respect to government policies and programs what they launch in the recent times. That's it. Like this, if we tend to segregate the topic when you come for a reading, then you will be feeling something as a kind of a comfortable zone to read the science and technology. I hope that if you are doing such a kind of a preparation with this kind of a segregation, definitely it will be a kind of a comfort zone. At one circumstance, you will be having certain kind of a satisfaction. I had done certain kind of a justification to read the science and technology. That satisfaction, of course, will be there if you follow this pattern. Next. The first part we are completed, the first segment we have spoken about the decoding of the syllabus as well as we have spoken about the weightage. Next. The second segment of our tactics comes in such a way, methodology and the sources. Because in order to learn the space technology, we need to approach the space technology topic in some other different way. In order to go with respect to nuclear technology, we have some other different strategy. So the strategy tend to vary from one topic to another topic. And I will be recommending with respect to the sources. What are the sources? Okay. So first, when you come for a methodology and the sources, one important source which we should not forget to learn is none other than the NCRT. Now, what is what is happening in sense? We tend to focus more with respect to current affairs and we tend to give least importance to the science-based NCRTs. Please try to change your mindset up. Nowadays, UPC also changing certain kind of a question pattern such a way, 2019 reflection question, RNA I technology. The RNA technology, question is current affairs. The four options what they have taken comes from the 12th biology book. If you are done in reading with respect to 12th biology book, in that case, definitely you will be having a scope to identify one or two options which is right or wrong. If you tend to identify one or two, then directly you can able to go for answering. Either it can be A or C will be a kind of an answer. So, option elimination plays a significant role in case of a science and technology. So, science and technology is one such kind of a subject where if you tend to capture which one statement is right or which one statement is wrong, directly you can able to jump for answering that one importance you can able to gain in this subject rather than comparing to the other subject. Option elimination plays a significant role. And moreover, in case of a science and technology, I will be decoding further. What are the types of questions? Generally, we used to have some five types of questions. I will be decoding further. Now, what is the source what I am mentioning? mentions? NCRT is the ultimate source. First, kick start your reading with an NCRT. Suppose, I am in the neck of the moment. Now, I don't have a sufficient time to learn the whole NCRTs. Now, at least I need to have a touch with an NCRT. Now, what is the source? Where I need to learn in sense? I can able to give you certain important topics with the NCRT. So, now, science and we have a book called as Science and Technology itself. The name of the book is Science and Technology, Volume 1 for 9th and Volume 2 for the 10th standard. It's an old NCRT book. You can able to get as a kind of a photocopy version and other things which are available in the market. You can able to get it and try to go through this book at first. Because the basic for the particle science, basic for the nano science, basic for the nuclear science, everything is there in this book. So, instead of giving much more importance to the other NCRT, first, since the time is much more crucial, what I can able to recommend you in sense, try to read these two NCRTs if you have a time. And that too, go for a selective process itself. If you find any, uh, you, if you uh, try to focus with respect to the topic related to the universe, try to focus the topic related to nuclear technology, focus with the topic related to the biotechnology, rather than focusing with the other topic related to the forces and other things. Because you don't have a sufficient time right now. If you have enormous amount of time and sense, you can able to go through doing all the things. So, better, you can able to select the essential topic which is highly connected to our syllabus. So, like that, try to filter the content and the unit which is present in the class 9 and the class 10th of the science and technology volume 1 and volume 2, old NCRT. Once you are done with respect to old NCRT, directly go for the 12th biology book. 12th biology book, chapter 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. When you want to learn the whole book itself, I am asking you to go through with respect to these 5 units alone, 6, 8, 9, 10 and 12. These units will give you much more importance how to deal with a question that arises from the biotechnology and the health. And moreover, when you come for questions related to the biotechnology and health, please make it clear, make these sources as a kind of a information providing material. Don't mug up any kind of a statement, don't buy out any kind of a statement. The material which you are following, this NCRT is recommended for the school children. So now, from the school children information, you are gathering information for your preparation. So in that case, 
focus more with respect to highlighted words focus more with respect to the terminologies which is given if they focus if you are saying something as a kind of a dna recombinant technology in sense you need to know about what is this recombination that's enough if they say that dna fingerprinting you need to know about what is this fingerprinting what is the other name for a fingerprinting and how this fingerprinting is getting differed from the other type of technique all the details are there so dna fingerprinting or the other is called as a dna profiling and try to know that how this dna profiling and dna fingerprinting gets differed from dna barcoding because dna barcoding is once again kind of a similar term so like this try to read the ncert so read the ncert by focusing with the keywords and once you are done with the keyword now try to compare what are the relevant what are the similar such a kind of a terms that we can able to connect to this particular topic like that you need to connect your works so this information is available in the 12th biology book itself go through the 12th biology book so at least two to three questions will be coming from this biotechnology based topic so for that this book can be able to satisfy you this year we have received the two questions the two questions had the four options which exactly got obtained from the biology book the reflection is there in the biology book so go with this for biology book next these are the normal ncert which you can able to find in the market if i step into any kind of a book store you can able to find 6th ncert science 7th ncert science in that case if you have some amount of time now it will be crucial now i can able to recommend these kind of units right now suppose if you want to brush up some information or if you want to get some other persons who is preparing for the uh, examination sense if they have a sufficient amount of time then you can able to ask them to go through the 6th 7th 8th 9th and 10th only the selected topics selected unit is more than enough so now at this crucial time don't go for this try to go for the point which i enlighted in case of the red color that's more than enough if you have a sufficient amount of time then you can able to go with respect to the rest of the books and that too particularly with respect to the mentioned units that's more than enough okay so this is the source which we need to stick now once you're done with respect to the ncert next come with respect to the other sources <laughs> with respect to the part 2 how to deal with the topic in sense when you come for a space technology space technology the question will be that from the current affairs only current affairs next once you are done with the current affairs now move with respect to the conventional parts like the satellites launch vehicles etc now meanwhile try to go with respect to the uh astronomy topics astronomy topics now to deal all these kind of an topic related to the space technology where i can able to derive the source and sense once again i recommend you the source is that current affairs only if you are having high touch with respect to the current affairs what happened in the field of space science for one year that's more than enough so this is the way we need to approach the same thing you can able to follow with the defense so in case of a space technology questions should be coming in the form of a fact as well as in the form of a concept in both the types you can expect a question next for the defense technology questions are coming in the form of a factual only most it will be factual it will be kind of a factual recent question which we got in the year of 2017 and 16 regarding the ins astra dharani you need to know about the factual information what is the ins astra dharani so like that you need to remember the fact and moreover when you come for a factual information what i can recommend in sense when you come for a ship names you have to worry about the indian coast guard ships and all try to focus with respect to indian naval ships indian naval ships is more than enough you have to worry about the indian coast guard ships and all and further with respect to missiles and other things try to know with respect to the fact whether these kind of a missile comes under the ballistic category or a cruise category or second of an slbm the k4 one such a kind of a missile what they tested in the recent time falls under the slbm category <coughs> like that you need to have a factual information next what is the source so once again the source you have a two different source if you want to refer with the fact go with the india yearbook go with the india yearbook go with respect to the drdo sites as well as the current affairs which you are already following for space technology in order to know about the satellites and launch vehicle better you can able to prefer with isro page itself official information go with respect to the government source itself because if anything is going wrong with respect to statement in sense as per the government sources you can able to have a claim with an official statements so now go with respect to the official statements which is given in the website
So that what I can recommend for the conventional parts. So here also for the conventional part, you can go with the DRDO and the current office material, whichever you tend to have. Next. The third segment is that electronics and green technology. Electronics and green technology. In case of electronics and green technology, <coughs> need not to worry about the conventional. Purely it's a kind of a current affairs. Purely it's a kind of a current affairs topic. So focus your point of view in such a way with respect to current affairs. Okay, what can be the electronics and green technology? Uh, whether I got any such a kind of a question in the recent time in sense, 2019 question paper regarding to the sulfate aerosol injection, the technique which is used to reduce the global warming impact. That's one such a kind of a question comes under the geoengineering technology, subtopic of the green technology. Second one, 2017, we got a question about the bio toilets that comes under the green technology. Electronic technology, this year we got a question about augmented reality, virtual reality, comes under the electronic technology. Bharat stage norms comes under the green technology. So like that, this is one such a kind of an emerging topic where they are keep on increasing with respect to number of questions. One more question, HCNG question that we got by this year 2019 comes under the green technology. So nowadays, a steady state increasing is being seen with respect to this topic, electronic and green technology. Please try to focus this topic. Pure it's a kind of a current affairs only. And even though it's a current affairs, for with respect to HCNG question and all, option is taken for the NCRT only. The HCNG question, option is too simple and those two simple options were, was taken from the NCRTs only. So, better learn the topic current affairs. If you are finding any kind of a tediousness with the current affairs sources in sense, they immediately have a cross check with such a kind of a word in the NCRT. You will be having clear cut information. This is how we need to approach. So, make it clear. For electronic and green technology, conventional is not required, only the current affairs. For defense technology, purely it will be a kind of a factual. Go with respect to India yearbook as well as with the DRDO. And slightly one or two areas, some conceptual will be there. That we can't even neglect it, but most it will be a factual kind of a topic. Conceptual likely it will be there. In that case, go with respect to the current affairs. Next, in case of a space technology, you need to balance both the areas. Factual will also be there. Conceptual will also be there. Sometimes you can able to expect a question based upon hybrid scenario also. Combination of factual as well as a concept. In that case, you need to approach in such a way. Current affairs you need to follow. Conversion you need to follow. As well as a combination will also be there. So, this is the methodology to prepare the space defense of the electronics and green technology for the part 1. For the part 2, <coughs> with respect to the IT, so the topic related to the IT and the robotics, what I can recommend in sense, do not learn anything, just observe a lot. Observation is mandatory. For example, the question what they are asked with respect to the BIM, you need to know about how this BIM is working for promoting the digital transaction. How many levels of authentication is happening? You need to have a practicality with this topic. For the other topic, what I had mentioned, space, difference and other things, you need to have a learning technique. But this topic, rather than going for learning, you need to have a practicality. You need to observe a lot. If you tend to make a payment by scanning a QR code, instance, you need to know about how this QR code is working. Working instance, technicality is not required friend. Once again, I recommend you. When you come for scanning a QR code, you need to know that whether QR code can be scanned in one direction or it can be scanned in all the direction. Like that, you need to have a clarity. To scan this QR code, either you need to depend with radio frequency waves or laser waves or you need to depend with respect to the normal optical light itself enough or not. Like that, you need to have a clarity. For the suppose, QR code is getting damaged. You need to know about an idea. If QR code is getting damaged, still can I able to scan this QR code? Yes, of course, you can able to scan it even in the damaged condition. So like that, Try to have this approach in the form of an observation. So, practicality is essential to deal with this topic related to the information technology rather than learning plenty of things. Even if you tend to learn plenty of news about the current affairs related topics about this IT, they can't be able to satisfy your need. Only thing which can satisfy is that observation. For example, if you tend to access your vehicle in the highways, definitely you will be coming across with the toll plazas. Nowadays, payment in the toll plazas is being done with the help of fast tax stickers. It works based upon the RFID technology. Now, you need to know about what is RFID. And in case of this kind of an RFID, whether the <coughs> at the time of scanning, whether both transmission receiving is being done or only the transmission is being done. Suppose if you tend to witness at the time of scanning, both the transmission receiving is being done in sense that a kind of a two-way communication. Meanwhile, if you tend to observe only the transmission takes place, not the receiving, then in that case, it's been one way. Like that, you need to have a comparison. How many such a kind of a tax can be uh, scanned at a time? Like that, you need to keep on questioning with respect to you based upon observation. You don't have to worry. Basically, we have a misconception in such a way. 
Science and technology, technicalities required, technicalities required, no technicality. Let me clarify this one particular word, which is prevailing as a one kind of, once a second of a myth in the preparation areas. When you are supposed to say that question is technicality in sense, if they are saying that recently we have launched the uh, GSAR 30 satellite and they are saying that GSAR 30 satellite is operating with these kind of a frequency ranges. It operates with the radio wave frequency, uh, so this, this much amount of GHz to this much amount of GHz. And it is a kind of a, a narrow beam focusing or broad spectrum focusing. It is a kind of a multi a multinodal focusing and what kind of a transponder they are using. It is a kind of an unfolded transponders or a non-unfold, in case of a non-unfold, whether it is a kind of an unidirectional or omnidirectional, like that if they are framing a sentence then alone, the question is called as a technicality. In that case, only a subject expert can be able to answer it. Meanwhile, if they are saying that these are 30, it is a kind of a communication satellite used for enhancing the DTH channel services in the society. In that case, you can't say that it is a kind of a technicality, it is a kind of a common man observation. Hope you can able to understand, when you are supposed to claim a question is technicality, when your question is kind of a non-technicality. The UPS examination used to have a question only from a non-technicality areas. The question may be appearing as a kind of an illusion for you, as a kind of a technical question. It is not a technical question, it is a kind of a non-technical statement only. Next one. <laughs> so next, here also the same trend you are trying to follow that. No such a kind of a technical is not correct, non-technical is more than enough. Next, <coughs> nuclear technology. Nuclear technology. It has an equal weightage, 50 percentage will be there from the conventional part. 50 percentage will be there from the current affairs. Current affairs. So, for conventional part, once again, simply you try to rely with respect to the NCRT, it is more than enough. You need not to search any kind of material, try to follow the nuclear technology topic, uh, nuclear physics, atomic physics, whichever is available in the NCRT, try to go through the NCRT topic, that is enough for the conventional areas. For current affairs, what are the materials, what are the newspapers you are followed for the period of one year, that is more than enough for the current affairs areas. So, questions will have an equal weightage in these areas and moreover, this is once a second of an area where we got received such a second of a question from nuclear technology in 2016. After that, we have never received any such a second of a question. So, nearly for about some 2 to 3 years, we have never received any such a second of a question. Previously, we got a question in 2012, I think so. So, once in 3 years, once or 4 years, once only, we are having some question from the nuclear technology. Since three years gap already got followed on with respect to nuclear technology, definitely you can expert some question from the nuclear technology by this year. Third, <laughs> with respect to the nanotechnology and particle science, for particle science, go with the NCRT itself, NCRT 11th and the 12th. In the physics and the chemistry book, you tend to have the names of the particles regarding the Higgs bosons, regarding the bosons, uh, regarding to the other elementary particles like the quark and the lepton. We have these kind of a word and the properties of these kind of material is already enlisted in the NCRT. Try to follow the NCRT, that is more than enough for the particle science. Next, for the nanotechnology area. Nanotechnology area, only the current appears. For particle science, it is conventional. For nanotechnology area, it will be a current affairs. That is enough. Fourth, regarding to the biotechnology and IPR. Biotechnology and health. Next, we can speak about the IPR. Biotechnology and health. <coughs> for biotechnology, go with the NCRT first. Next, go with respect to the current affairs. Make one thing is very clear. In, even if the question is about current affairs, option will be framed only from the NCRT. Unless until you are getting stronger with respect to NCRT, it will be tedious for you to answer the question based upon the current affairs. Make it very clear that first touch the topic with the NCRT, then you can able to focus with the current affairs, whichever is available in the material, whichever you tend to follow it. Okay? Start your preparation with the NCRTs. Health related issues, focus with the current affairs. Current affairs plus the news that comes in the NCRTs also. For example, in 2019 question paper, we got question about the hepatitis. So, hepatitis comes under the NCRT. In the NCRT, we have this topic. So, try to go through the topic which is there in the NCRT first with the health and next you can come for the current affairs related news. And if, if it is come for a current affairs related news, you won't have a question with respect to the unproved concepts and all. Since the corona is one such a kind of the uh, COVID-19 is one such a kind of a, a most outbreak and disease. In that case, 
unless until the drug is getting proved you won't have any cytokine question pressed upon the drug meanwhile the mode of transmission the causative agent like that you can able to have a question right focus in such a way only with the proved cancers and the proved diseases where we are already done and where we are already done so taking up an immunization wars or vaccines had been discovered suppose if they are witnessing with an outbreak of a disease instance you need to pay an attention with respect to the causative agents that's more than a causative agent along the symptoms okay and finally with an ipr the ipr what we are observed the recent time instance up to 2017 the trend was in such a way with respect to current affairs only after 2017 slowly they are focusing is coming from the conventional areas also conventional areas also so conversion area instance no they won't frame any kind of a question based upon the company laws and other things and all but you need to have a clarity uh, what is called as a regional right what is called as a monopoly right uh, which is called as an universal right like that you need to have some basic information about the conversion topics that i'll be decoding further under the third segment in detail analysis we can speak in much in detail along with that try to focus on the current affairs related to the issues just now we had said with respect to the ipr infringement case which was filed by the pepsico company against the potato farmers like that focus with respect to the issues so this more than enough with respect to the part to cover this is how you need to structureize and prepare for the part 2 right next so next we are moving in the methodology area types of question what i am saying in sense in case of a science and technology you are supposed to observe five different types of a question so once the second of a question the first type is factual the question is completely factual question you can able to go through the question what we got in 2017 what is the purpose of evolved laser interferometer space antenna e laisa project okay so it's a kind of a to detect the gravitation it's a project of european space agency to detect the gravitation waves this is the answer so now to answer this question what is required in sense any of this topic got appeared in the newspaper during the time period of 2016 and 17 and when this e laisa project is going to be executed in sense only in 2035 even though the mission is scheduled for 2035 they had asked this question in 2017 itself on what basis they framed this question in sense we have a keyword in the syllabus awareness you need to be have an awareness about the project which had been launched by any space agency you can't able to have a guess work they will be keeping the question only from an isro no they can able to have a question because the syllabus says that awareness in the field of space they never recommend awareness in the field of space work done by the isro alone we don't have such a kind of work So awareness in the field of space and science. If European space and science is doing the work, or Japanese space and science is doing the work, or China is doing the work, we need to have some awareness. That more than enough. So when it comes for other space and science based question, question will be factual. They won't frame any kind of a concept over here. When you can expect a concept in science, suppose if the work is being done by an ISRO, like that, Chandrayaan two, like that, if you have a question in science, in that case, it will be a kind of a concept. So in case of a science based concept or question, maximum you can expect science based concept or question will have three statements. Three statement. With the, the maximum, you can expect the three statement questions will be the rare and rarest. You can go for the four statement, but of course, four statement is once in a blue moon only. You can be able to expect, but commonly you can able to observe three statement or two statement. Three statement is more frequent questions. Concept based questions will be there. Now, so to solve this question, only one thing is that awareness. If you are being aware, you can able to say that this is a statement. Right? Next one. The second type of question is conceptual. Look at this question. RNA interference, RNA I technology, 2019 question. to solve this question now you need to have some concept idea so first you need to have an idea what is rna i technology are speaking that then only you can able to say that which statement is right which statement is wrong so now it's used for developing the gene silencing therapies this statement is there in the ncert itself it can be used in developing the therapies for the treatment of cancer this also there in the ncert itself it can be used to develop the hormone replacement therapies no can be used to produce the crop plants are resistant to the viral pathogens yes not only for crop plants for any kind of a thing against the viral pathogens you can go for the rna i technology and moreover this is once a second of a buzzing word which we currently tend to come across in the newspaper also regarding the drug which is essential to fight against this covid 19 case so now in this case you can able to go with respect to the 1 2 so to say that answer is 1 2 4 what is required in sense you need to know about what this technology speaks for how i can get this information in sense ncert only we can have a cross check also the three statement which i am saying that 1 2 and 4 is there in the ncert itself 12th biology ncert book so learn the ncert first to know about the technology what they are fa- facing for the biotechnology based topics so this kind of a question is conceptual third the third kind of a question is a kind of a hybrid combination combination of fact as well as a concept in one side you can have a presence of this 
uh, experiment or a work, other side will be knowing with respect to the context or the topic where they are uh, facing. So, this is a question what we got in 2018. So, build to experiment speaks about the particle science. CRISPR Cas9, it speaks about the biotechnology based gene editing tool. So, build to experiment does not have any test with the artificial intelligence cancer. Blockchain technology, digital cryptocurrency, yes. CRISPR Cas9 is a kind of a gene editing tool. Particle physics does not have any kind of a touch. So, now only two is right, and they are asking that which is correctly matched to one. So in this case, Basically, this kind of a question is too simple. Whenever you come across this kind of a question, just don't skip this question. Try to put an effort to attend this question. When we are discussing about the RNAi technology, what I am saying in sense, if you are familiar with the concept, what is the RNAi technology, you can able to touch the second type of a question. The first type of question, what we have spoken is fact. Try to attend that question. When you come for a hybrid based questions, at least you will be having an option to go for an option elimination technique. You can able to attend this kind of a question. Don't skip this kind of a question. It is highly recommended you can able to attend it. Only for the second question, what we have spoken as a conceptual, if you don't have a familiarity, leave it. Better don't touch it because it might be leading you to commit the mistakes. But these kind of a question, you won't commit the mistake. Definitely, you can able to find the correct answer. Fourth, <coughs> the fourth one is application based factual question. So, application based factual question. The fourth and the fifth, we are going to speak only about the applications. How I segregate and since application based factual. So, 3D printing, once it's a kind of a buzzing word, which is frequently repeated in certain kind of an areas. And moreover, what I can say in sense, when you try to prepare for the preliminary examinations, try to have a touch with respect to the previous year mains question papers also. So, 3D printing was once it's a kind of a question which we got in the earlier years with respect to the mains. What they done in sense, the question which they are already framed for the mains, they are converting them into the preliminary point of view. This is such a kind of a scenario. Even IRNSS, we got a question for the mains. Once again, it got referred for the prelims. So, like that, the trend will be keep on changing in such a way prelims to the mains and the mains to the prelims. And mostly the mains based questions will be having a reflection for the forthcoming years of prelims. So, 3D printing, since it is one such a kind of a buzzing word, we do not have an end for the application of 3D printing technology. Wherever you have a scope in the society, you can apply the 3D printing. So, now if you are familiar with the 3D printing, and normally when you come for a question based upon 3D printing, big data, IOTs, and these kind of an areas, try to have a glance. If you try to know that what is this big data, try to know the thing what is the 3D printing. So, if you are trying to know about the meaning behind the technology, directly you can jump for answer. Because in these kind of a question, most of the statement which they are giving will be getting right. Will be getting right. In case of an IoT and all, if you are understanding the concept, IoT is a kind of a um, data transfer technology which takes place from one to one fashion. In that case, if you are understanding the concept, for instance, directly you can say that most of the statement which they are flaming will be getting right. So, here all the five is right. This type of question also, try to attend it, don't skip it. Fifth one. The fifth type of question is <coughs> application conceptual. So, application based questions only, but slightly it will be conceptual. So, now this is the question which we got in 2018. So, BIM app allows the user to transfer money to anyone with UPI enabled bank account. Yes. Well, chip pin, debit card has four factors of authentication. So, now, this one, in this case also, we have a trick. BIM application allows a user to transfer money to anyone with UP enabled. So, what you can able to achieve with the BIM instance, you need to know about, either I need to link UP ID to the UP ID to the BIM, or I can able to link the bank account to the BIM, or I can able to link the credit card number and the debit card number to the BIM. Now, in this case, among the three options which I have given to you, you can link the UP, you can able to link the bank account number, but you can't able to link the credit card and the debit card numbers. The payment is being done either from your bank account or from the UPA enabled ID. Now, in this case, statement 1 is right. Second, chip based debit card. So, chip based debit card, four factors of authentication for the BIM. So, in case of a BIM application, they are saying that four factors of authentication, BIM application has two factors of authentication. The chip pin debit card has a four factors. In case of a chip pin card, how many steps of authentication is there? In sense, you tend to have two steps of authentication. When you are going to insert a chip based card, whether with the POS machine or with an ATM machine, whenever you are going to interface your card with the POS or ATM machine, first the machine will recognize your card to which particular core bank the card belongs to. Verification of the card comes at the first level of authentication. Second, verification of the account holder by entering the secret pin, four digit pin, which you are going to enter is the second level of authentication. So, for the chip based debit card and the credit card, you have the two factors of authentication. 
Next, for the BIM application, it has a two factors. No, BIM application has a process. The three factors of authentication. So, this statement, you can able to make it right or wrong to make a decision over here. Practical is required. Practical is required because even though I mentioned that application is conceptual, application only, but you need to know about the concept via the observation. If you have a practice in paying setting kind of a thing, either by yourself or with your friend's experience, you will be coming to know that the payment via BIM is having the three factor of authentication. First comes the verification of registered mobile number is the first step of authentication. Second step of authentication to select the bank, preferential bank comes the second step of authentication. Third step of authentication comes with respect to the BIM secured pin. So, it tend to have a three way, three steps. So, now in this case, to touch with respect to these kind of a question also, what is recurrence? Which is the current statement they are saying that? Both one and two. So, now here, to make a decision over here, either I need to attend this kind of a question or not, what I can recommend is if you have a practical experience, try to attend it. If you don't have a practical experience, don't try to make an attempt because don't have a familiarity with the BIM. Either it is a two step or a three step, then you will be committing a mistake. In that case, better you can able to leave it. Suppose if you have a guess, suppose if they instead of two statement, if they framed the three statement, naka, you can touch it. Suppose in the third statement, they are giving with respect to the certain kind of a encryption or some, some other things they are framing. In that case, if third statement is being given, you can able to make a guess, there you can able to make a touch. If it comes for a two statements, in that case, don't go for guesswork because the guesswork might be committing some mistake. If it comes for application based conceptual question, if it is the three statements, naka, better touch it. Okay. So, these are the five types of a question which you can able to expert from the science and technology. So, now among the five state, five types, three types of question definitely damn sure you can able to attempt it. The fifth type which I am saying is that where you can able to have an attempt in such a way if it is coming for a three statements. Two statements, don't attempt it, more than half. Next, in focus. The third segment of our strategy comes with respect to in focus in detail analysis. Detail analysis, what need to be focused, how to have an in-detail analysis, how to structure the topic for the space. We are saying that space technology I need to learn where I need to start, where I need to begin, where I need to end. It's a kind of an open area. So like that, you'll be having plenty of doubt. Let me go with this for the in-focus in this case. And what I'm going to do in sense, along with the in-focus, I will be giving you certain kind of an examples related to certain kind of a question which got appeared in the recent time in the UPC prelims itself. And you can able to find a connectivity. Okay, this is getting connected to the first type or second type. You can able to find the relevance. And parallelly, I will be giving one example, one question, which we tend to give it for the pre-examining test students in our institute. So, one question, sample analysis, I will be doing with that thing also. So, the sample analysis question, you can able to find. The question will be current affairs. Trickier questions will be there. You will be very clear with respect to these kind of a tricks, what an example will be framing to you. Okay. Space technology. In case of a space technology, it is getting segregated into three areas. The first area comes with respect to astronomy. Astronomy. Where you need to deal with respect to the celestial bodies. Celestial bodies and their missions. The second comes with respect to the conventional part. Where you need to deal with respect to orbits, satellites, launch vehicles. The third segment is Miscellaneous current affairs. Miscellaneous current affairs. So, here you will be having the telescopes, radars, and the missions. So, these are the three major areas which falls under the space technology. So now, among the three areas, what is the scope for astronomy in sense? In all the three areas, we can expert the question. We can't able to say that where they will be framing the question. Anyhow, when you come for a space, better try to complete all the three areas so that you won't skip any kind of a topic. So, in case of an astronomy, first start in such a way with respect to space and its types. 
Next, go with respect to auroral lights and the current of is related to it. So, what are the current of is you can able to make note of here in sense? You can go with respect to the air wave experiment, MMS experiment, uh, gold and icon experiment. Like that, we are setting it up a current of is. So, try to complete the current of is altogether with this auroral light topic itself. Once you're done with the auroral light, next go with respect to the um, super clusters. Because we are getting setting enough of a word regarding the Saraswati super cluster, Hyperion, Vela. Like there's some news is there, some word is appearing in the newspaper. So all the word which I present over here is getting connected to the super cluster. Try to complete the super cluster. Let's go with respect to the galaxies. Galaxies and the types. So go here, try to complete with respect to current affairs. Like that. Uh, we used to say that Bedin 2. Bedin 2. Ghost galaxy. That is dragonfly. Once you are done with the galaxies, next you can go for the solar system. Solar system. Make note of one thing. Under the solar system, try to go through the solar system boundaries. Solar system boundaries. Next, go with respect to the individual missions. Individual missions. So, in case of individual missions, try to focus with planet wise so that you won't skip any second of a thing. If they are saying that Bepi Colombo, Bepi Colombo is a mission to explore the Mercury. And they are saying that Sukrayan, Sukrayan is a kind of a forthcoming mission of Israel to explore the Venus. And um, they are planning to execute a mission in the name called Hyongsing. Hyongsing 1 is a kind of a mission scheduled by China to explore the Mars for the first time. Hope, HOP, Hope is a forthcoming mission of United Arab Emirates to explore the same Mars. So, like that, have an information such a way. When you turn to structure is the topic for the individual mission, read in such a way. First, get the mission name. Who is executing this mission? What is the mission objective? More than enough. And for most important thing, whether it's an orbiter mission or lander or a rover mission. Hayabusa. If you are coming across the word Hayabusa in sense, you need to know about who is executing this mission and what kind of celestial body they are executing. Whether it's an asteroid or a comet or a planet, you need to have an idea. That's enough. And under the solar system topic, try to complete with respect to the boundaries and individual missions. If you are completing all together, then only the topic can able to have an entire completion. Next. Next comes with respect to the planets. Exoplanets. In case of an exoplanet, you can go with respect to the T20i systems. Kepler. Trappist-1. Gravitational lensing. Gravitational, because this year Nobel Prize got awarded for the exoplanetary work. So that you need to know about what is an exoplanet. And apparently, once you are touching the word called as an exoplanet, try to complete it. What is protoplanet? Right? And uh, go with respect to the what is plunet. Plunet is a kind of a term which got reported in the recent times in the newspaper. Conversion of a moon into a planet. So, exoplanet, plunet, protoplanet, and IAU, International Astronomical Union, they are celebrating the 100th year. So, you can expect a question even from International Astronomical Union about the organization setup that doesn't fall under the technical area. Organization setup, you can able to pay an attention. IAU. And recently, IAU had declared the five such a kind of a dwarf plant. You don't know about what is a dwarf plant, what are the names of those five such a kind of a dwarf plant. And under that, try to complete with respect to the dark matters and the dark energy. Falling to the exoplanet, let's go with respect to the star systems. 
star systems. In case of a star system, try to get the name, uh, we'll try to get the meaning, um, what is the supernova, because we are witnessing a supernova explosion going to take place, Betelgeuse, one among the supernova explosion which is going to witness in the near time period, Betelgeuse supernova explosion is going to occur. So try to know about the supernova, uh, neutron stars, magnetars, pulsars, black hole, white dwarf, right. So these are the names where you need to have a clear cut idea. And among these names, try to have an in detail analysis with respect to a word called a black hole. The news is that Pawahi is once a second of a black hole, Pawahi, P-O-W-E-H-I, Pawahi. The name of the black hole whose image got captured in the recent times. And meanwhile, try to know about the structure of this black hole, which is the outermost area, which is the middle area, which is called as a singularity. Like that, try to get the name, not to worry about the functionings and all. And try to know that which star can be converted into black hole. What are the types of a black hole? So like that, have a touch. So once you're done with respect to the black hole, complete the topic related to the gravitational waves. What is the gravitational waves? The LIGO observatory, properties of gravitational waves, that what are the sources for the gravitational waves? That too can be completed in case of the star's classification itself. Next to that, <coughs> go with respect to the quasars. And finally, come with respect to the moon and the missions. Moon and the mission. So, with respect to the moon, I am very clear with the term. Try to complete the moon terminologies. Moon terminologies. Terminology matters a lot over here. So try to know with the terminology, what is a super moon, what is a blue moon, what is a red moon, go with respect to the terminologies. And after that, try to complete with the recent missions, Chandrayaan 1, Chandrayaan 2. So Chandrayaan 2 is a current affairs, but don't stop reading only the Chandrayaan 2, try to have a comparison with the previous Chandrayaan 1 also. So question can be arise either from 1 or 2 or simply they can frame as a Chandrayaan mission of this row. We need to be get ready in all the dimensions. So Chandrayaan missions and with respect to the Bersheet mission, Artemis mission, so like that. Try to have a glance with respect to the mission and moreover with respect to the ongoing Chinese mission in the darker side of the moon, right. So like that have a touch with respect to such a kind of a thing. So Chang 4 mission of the China. So once you are done with respect to the moon, finally come to the topic with the sun because under the solar system itself we can able to do with the sun. In case of a sun, pay an attention with the terminologies first as usual. We don't know about what is a solar wind, what is coronal mass ejection. Next, you go with respect to the recent terminology, solar dynamo, one among the emerging topics, solar tsunami. Currently, we are witnessing the 25th solar cycle. You need to know about what is solar cycle also. So, these are the major terms, solar wind, coronal mass ejection, solar cycle. And next, with respect to the solar dynamo and the solar tsunami. Next, once you are done with the terminology, move the current of related to the sun. So, indigenously, we are planning for the Aditya L1. On a global scale, recently, they are done with respect to the solo observatory work. Solar Observatory were solo. Go with respect to solo. Already Parker 1. They had commissioned it. It's keep on moving towards the sun. Deal with respect to the Parker. More than enough. So these are the topics which you need to cover under the sun. Right. So if you're done like this, then the topic related to the astronomy will be getting completed. So either you can begin the topic with sun or you can complete the topic with the sun and the moon with the last. Whichever is comfortable, that's up to you. Or you can able to put the sun under the solar system topic itself. If you're structuring and reading like this pattern sense, nothing will be getting skipped. Everything will be getting covered. Right. Next one. Under the space science, next comes with respect to conventional topics. Conventional topics. In case of a conventional topic, First comes the satellites. Satellites. In case of a satellite, structure is a satellite topic in such a way. Indian remote sensing satellites, or you will be calling them as an earth observation satellite. Second comes the communication satellites. And third comes the navigation satellites. Okay. In case of an earth observation satellite, what are the recent earth observation satellite they are launched? Try to focus in such a way like that HYSIS wants such a kind of an earth observation satellite and focus with respect to the 
cartosat satellite because cartosat satellite group got completed the recent December 2019. Similar such a kind of reflection happened in the previous year 2018 question paper. Since IRN series got completed, navigation satellite got series got completed in 2018, we got a question for the 2018 prelims from the IRNSS. So like that, relevance will be there in such a way with respect to recently completed groups of satellite. Cartosat group got completed, you can expect a question. HYSAS, you can able to expect a question. Or you can expect a question from the MESAT. MESAT, you can expect a question. Um, RISAT, radar imaging satellite, which has supported a lot for conducting this recent surgical strike, the Balkar strike, was done with the help of the radar imaging satellite, RISAT. So these are the areas which we should not forget to learn about the imaging satellite, radar imaging satellite. Apart from that, we have plenty of other giant radar satellites there. Saral, Megatrophics, Trishna, all the three things, Saral, Megatrophics and Trishna, the giant initiate of India with the France. So like that, try to complete this topic with the satellites. Second topic under the satellite is communication satellite. In case of a communication satellite, and moreover, how a question from the remote sensing satellite will be there in sense, remote sensing satellite based question will be there based upon the applications only. That will be explaining in the forthcoming slide. Based upon the applications, questions will be there. So you need to be very strict with respect to the applications. You need to have a familiarity with the applications. Next with the communication satellite also, try to get the name of the satellite. If you have some other alternate name in sense, try to remember the alternate name. For example, these are seven is otherwise called as so Rukmini. You need to know about the other name. All the satellite doesn't have second half of other name. Some tend to have, try to get it. These are nine is other is called satellite for Sark, other name. So you need to get that other names. Instead of expecting the question, either from the common name, you will be having special names based questions will also be there. And further, in this case also, GSAT and the insert based topic that comes under the communication satellite, questions will be there from the applications only. The last segment of the satellite category is the navigation satellite. Try to focus with respect to IRNSS as well as with the Gagan. So under the Gagan, recent news is there with the word called Gemini. Focus it. Next. So if you tend to cover the topic in such a way, then you can be able to complete the satellite based topic. So in case of IRNSS and the Gagan, slightly try to know about some um, con uh, concepts or ideas also. If you are using them for the navigation, then first you need to know about what is navigation, what are the parameters required for a navigation, uh, how many satellites need to work, like that, you try to have an analysis in such a way. So this is why, this is how you need to deal with the rest of the navigation satellite topic. The first two things focus only with the application. The third topic focus with the applications along with the respect to the concepts. Because Germany based topic, if you want to solve instance, you need to have a conceptual ideas. Okay. Next under the conventional topic comes with respect to the orbits. Orbit is a kind of a conceptual ideas. And slightly you can have a question with respect to the uh, applications also. They are saying that a satellite present in this ABC orbit remain to be a uh, focusing exactly over here to the building always in sense you need to know about what is that orbit. So the ABC orbit what they are giving in the statement denotes for the geostationary orbit. So like that you need to have an idea over here. So conceptual as well as applications will be there. And in this case also what I can recommend sense go with an orbit, geosynchronous, geostationary, sun synchronous, polar orbit, circular orbit, inclined orbit, graveyard orbit. So these are the names of an orbit which you need to focus. Okay. Next. And half man transfer orbit. One such kind of a thing which we are prefer for this Mangalyan mission. Half man transfer orbit HTO. That also try to cover under this orbit topic. So next under the conversion topic go to the launch vehicles. Launch vehicles. In case of a launch vehicle, kick start your preparation with respect to the PSLV. So here try to know about the stages, types and what kind of a satellite, what kind of an applications they can be used. GSLV, you have to worry about the payload capacity and the weight carrying nature and all. that kind of a numerical value you can able to forget it up. So GSLV, the same such kind of thing, stages, types and the applications and go with respect to the reusable launch vehicle which is going to be there in the forthcoming years, a reusable launch vehicle. And further, the forthcoming launch vehicle will be there in the name called SSLV, small satellite launch vehicle. Cover it. Once you are done the justification for this part, try to complete the topic with respect to the historical launch vehicle in the name called SLV and ASLV. Even though we are not using it, try to have a least importance. What is this launch vehicle? That's more than enough. Try to have a quick revision 
about this SLV and ASLV. That is it. So, if you are covering this topic, then the conversion part of the space science will be getting completed. Following to the conversion topic, the next comes in the name called as miscellaneous current of a spot. In case of miscellaneous current of a spot, as per the thing what I said in the earlier slide itself, you can follow the thing. Telescopes, radars and the missions. So, when you come for telescope, you should not forget to read about the telescope in the name called as an event horizon. The forthcoming telescope in the name called as James Webb. Great Observatory Telescope, because Great Observatory is once a second of a program being executed by the NASA. Under the Great Observatory, initially we had the four telescope. Two got expert and one got expert recently in the month of January 2020, which is none other than the Spitzer Telescope. One more telescope which got already ex expert in the name called as Compton Gamma Ray Telescope. Only two telescopes further getting operated under the Great Observatory program is none other than one is the Hubble, other one is none other than the Tandra Seker, Tandra X-ray Telescope. Already UPSR frames a second of a Chandra X-ray telescope question was there in the previous years. So, great observatory based question, you need to be have a focus. James Webb telescope. So, either what are the telescope that you came across, try to summarize them. Radars, most important thing. Recently, we are reporting with respect to some current affairs as well as with other things related to the radar. Because for the ball card strike also, MOTR is once a second of radar which are supported. For conducting the surgic, uh, for conducting the mission Sakti, India's anti satellite test also a radar in the name called MOTR along with the Swatfish radar from the different sector had supported. You need to know with the radars. And moreover, ISRO is going to execute a program in the name called as a Project Netra. So, Project Netra is a program of ISRO which is going to be done in the forthcoming years. In that case, you need to know about the which radar is going to support for this program. So, like that, have a touch. And in case of a telescope, try to, I forgot to mention one word, MACE telescope, M-A-C. Try to focus this word under the telescope area because MACE telescope is a kind of a gamma ray telescope in India, where this telescope comes under the seven global mega science missions of India. And since the seven mega global science missions comes under for India, where once a second of telescope is there in India itself, the rest of the other things will be there in the outside India. And one more thing, INO Indian Neutron Observatory is once a second of thing which is already there in India itself. So now, since this telescope got added in 2019, you can expect the question either from the global mega missions of India or you can expect the question from the telescope itself because it got added as a eighth such a kind of a global mega mission. Until 2019, we had only the seven. In 2019, they added this eighth global mega science mission in the name called as a mass. Now the count is increasing from seven to eight. So you can expect a question from this telescope. That's it. So finally, with respect to the missions, miscellaneous missions. Other space agencies missions. So, what NASA had done? Remove debris is once a second of a mission you are coming across. Restore L project you are coming across. Now, you need to know about what is restore L, what is remove debris, um, and you need to know about certain kind of an, uh, robotic missions. FIDAR is once a second of a humanoid robot what Na Russia had sent to the International Space Station. You need to know about the robotic missions, whether it is a humanoid robot or non humanoid robot, even. ISRO 2 had unveiled their half human robot in the name called as Vayu Mitra. So, you need to know about the missions. From the missions based questions, one question is always reserved for the preliminary examination, which might be arising from any such a kind of a space agency. We can't able to decode from which space agency question will be arising. But anyhow, we need to be get ready. Right? Go through the mission space topics. That's it. If you are covering in such a way, now the space technology will be getting covered. Everything is there in your packet. So now, whatever question they are going to frame, you will be in a position to answer it. Let me give you some samples. Whether this kind of a topic learning can able to satisfy my examination preparation means, of course, it will satisfy that. Go with respect to the sample questions, which I have taken from the previous year UPC question itself. Nothing too late, 2019 question. So, 2019 question, recently scientists observed the measure of black holes. So, now, always when you come for a word for a black hole, one particular word that sets your mind will be the gravitational waves. Now, they are saying that merging of a black hole, merging of a black hole, merging of a neutron star, or explosion of a supernova will trigger you the gravitational waves. First, try to observe whether you have any such a kind of a gravitational waves. Yes. Now, among the four statements, which will be relevant for this question, since the doubt need to be, if you are doubting the Higgs boson, Higgs boson is nothing is connected to this particular question. Possibility for intergalactic space travel regarding the wormhole was confirmed. No, wormhole still remain to be in hypothesis only, not in proof so far. Next, it enables the scientists to understand singularity. Now, what do you need to observe in sense? Even though the condition is hypothesis, UPC tried to frame even a hypothetical statement, even a hypothetical base options will be there, but it won't be a selective option for the correct question. So, anyhow, it can act as a filler for the particular question. 
even hypothesis based concept will be there as a filler it won't be a kind of an example because if they're framing a question based upon hypothesis then it lead to an ambiguity so they don't want to face a kind of an ambiguity so hypothesis also there in the option look at the scenario 2019 question enable the scientist to understand singularity so singularity is once a second of a guess you can have so you can able to have a guess either with a b or d definitely a and c won't be there so now to understand singularity in sense to watch the singularity you need to witness the movement of the particle until till date we don't have any such kind of a technology to witness the movement of particle until to singularity only in the ergosphere the outer area you can able to observe it now what will be the exact answer in sense collision is happening merging merging of a black hole is happening merging of a black hole will make you to observe gravitational waves that will be the right answer answer is bob see for solving the first type of question what is the correct answer basic factual information that's more than enough to solve the first question second so one side is given at the spacecraft other side is given at the purpose so what i am saying in sense try to have a familiarity cassini huygens you need to make it clear cassini huygens is a mission to explore the saturn what they mention venus one will be wrong messenger so one is wrong automatically a is removed c is removed d is removed that's it they are asking the which is correctly means any your answer will be bombay only try to justify your answer messenger mapping the mercury why there one and two explore the outer solar system yes answer goes for bomb that's it see that's what i have said the thing when you come for hybrid based question don't miss it try to attend the question so you'll be scoring a lot in this kind of a question as a matter of eliminating one statement directly you can go for a jump for answering next so you can able to find the first question what i have shown will be connected to the factual second question what i have shown will be connected to the hybrid type third question it's a kind of a conceptual question with respect to the pslb PSLV is launch the satellite useful for the earth resources monitoring whereas DSLV are designed to mainly to launch a communication satellite of course earth resource in sense remote sensing DSLV designed to monitor uh, mainly to launch a communication satellites in satellite and gsat yes satellites so one need to be there correctly match your answer need to have one so b is remote d is remote your answer can be a or c as a matter of reading the first statement itself you are eliminating two uh, two statements now go for reading So either your answer need to be A or C. So read the second statement first. Satellite launched with the PSLV appears to remain permanently fixed in the same position in the sky as viewed from the particular location. They are speaking with respect to the geostationary orbit and the communication satellite for a permanently fixation. In that case, PSLV can't satisfy; it should be DSLV. So statement two is wrong. So two is removed. Answer should be A one only. Let us go with the cross checking with the three. MK three is a Three stage launch vehicle, not a four stage launch vehicle. That itself, it is getting eliminated. Need not to worry about whether it uses a solid rocket, motors, or other things. Need not to worry about because, as a matter of reading the third word in the statement itself, it is saying that statement three is wrong. DSL MK three is a third, three stages, not a four stage. Statement three is wrong. So, of course, your answer will be A. That's it. Even though this is a concept based question, if you are understanding, look at the very careful this question. Even though this is a concept, technicality is not there. Only a common man understanding is there. So, common man understanding need to be there always. It's not a technical question. They are asking that what kind of a motor they are using there, how many segments is there in the motor, how the working of this motor is working, what about the strap-on boosters nature? Like that, if they tend to frame a question, set point instance, you can say that it's a technical question. Non-technical question only. Subject is science and technology. Question nature is not technical. Okay. Let me give you our institute sample question. So the previous three things what we have seen is a kind of an UPC previous year question. This is one such a kind of a our institute pre Sami question. Shankaraya Sakaram is pre Sami question. So which among the following services is obtained from the Cartos at Saturday? Since a group of Saturday got completed the recent time, so you can expert some question. So now we have a mindset of that Cartos Sat in sense cartographic Saturday, cartographic in sense mapping related Saturday. That's one such a kind of a pre occupied mind that will be running in our mind. Now read the statement. Bhuvan Bhuvan is a kind of a geo portal application. Yes, you can use it. Coastal land use under regulation. Yes, you can use it. Missile guidance. Guidance need to be given by the communication satellite. Cartosat is a kind of an earth observation satellite. You know, it can't satisfy the need. Surgical strike. Yes, it is supported for the surgical strike version one point zero. Soil mapping. Here comes a trap. Now, please be very clear in understanding the concept. What is soil mapping? In sense, segregation of soils based upon the type is called as a soil mapping. So now, since the board Cartosat. is clearly giving us a meaning cartography mapping now what will be happening is that as a matter of looking this word mapping everything will be getting completely blank to you for you will be having a granted that this statement might be getting right there comes a trap this statement is wrong 
segregation of sat segregation of soil based upon the type is done only by the resource sat what cartosat sat can say in sense this is an area where you have a soil it can't able to distinguish which is a lactite which is a black soil which is an alluvial soil it can't able to segregate them segregation in such a way is called as a soil mapping soil mapping will be done only by the resource sat not by the cartosat sat but since the word cartography is highly fixed in our mind, you will be committing a mistake. In that case, please be very clear and read the statement. The statement phi is wrong. So now, phi is wrong. Remove the phi. D will be removed. D will be removed. So your answer will be 1, 2, and the 4. Answer is A. That's it. Where I can get this meaning in sense? Learn the NCRT. Either as a geography NCRT itself, you can able to get this meaning. What is the style mapping? So answer is A, 1, 2, and the 4. That's it. So this is how. You know to pick, the, pick this word. You can able to find. It's a kind of a question that comes under the application base. Application based question is the concept. Right. So far we are done with respect to the space technology. So next we need to move with respect to the defense technology. <coughs> In case of a defense technology. So first let me give you the overall skeleton as usual like the space technology. How to deal with the defense in sense. Segregate so the defense into the three segments. Sorry, basically in the two segments, then we can go for three segments. So, what is the basic two segment in sense? Technical part. Non-technical part. Technical part and the non-technical part. In case of a technical part, you can have a further three subclassification. One comes in the name called as a striking system. Striking system. Striking system deals about the missiles. Second topic comes with respect to the surveillance system. It speaks about the radars, sonars, etc. Comes up patrolling system. Patrolling system. It speaks about the vehicles. Non technical part, <coughs> it speaks about the defense exercises and defense operations. Right. So, now make it clear that when you try to read the defense technology topic, you need to complete both the cases. You need to complete the technical part as well as you need to complete the non-technical part. Then only you can able to justi justify the topic that you are completed it. So now, let me decode further in detail about the technical part, non-technical part. Before going for that, for a non-technical part, what I can recommend in sense, go for the India yearbook. You have a chapter called this defense. So, Go through the defense topic which is present in the India Air book. That's more than enough for the non-technical part. And in that case also, when you come for defense exercises and operations, please stick your mind in such a way where questions will be asked in such a way. If the exercises happens with a fancy number, it need to be kind of a 15th exercise or the first exercise, which are never done so far. This is the first time we are executing such a kind of an exercise. Or it should be a kind of a 20th exercise. So like the fancy number need to be there, 10, 15 or 20. Some fancy numbers need to be there with an exercise. Or it should be kind of a first such a kind of an exercise which is happening in this country. So you need to focus, you need to filter because plenty of news will be there based upon the defense exercise and operations. All the thing is not required. You need to select the content in such a way, which is essential. And in this case, questions will be there in such a way where you need to know about who had participated in this <coughs> operation, whether it's a kind of a army based exercise or navy based exercise, or air force based exercise. Next, which country, towards which country we had done it. If it is a giant exercise in terms, you need to know about which country we had done it. And third, what is the nature of this access? Nature of its access in sense, something will have an execution such a way to check with respect to the aircraft surveillance. Something will be done with respect to the border security management activities with the smart fencing borders. Like that, some export topic, export world will be there. That as a matter of going through the defense access itself, we can able to find the nutshell world will be there. So mostly the defense access and operation based question will be a pure factual. It's a pure factual. Concept is not required, only the fact. And this fact, you can able to get it from the India Airbook itself. Next. So, this is how you need to cover with respect to the non-technical part. Come for the technical part. In case of a technical part, we have a striking system. Okay. In case of a striking system, you 
you have to focus with the missiles. In case of a missile, focus with respect to the ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, hybrid missiles, SLBM, submarine launch ballistic missile, anti tank guided missiles, anti anti aircraft, anti personal missiles. anti ballistic missiles anti cruise missiles let me write one yeah. anti satellite missiles so these are the types of missiles which we need to focus in case of a missile topic what you need to focus further in sense try to know about if you are coming across setting up for example if i saying that uh, shauriya was a missile now you need to know about saurya is a kind of a ballistic or cruise or is a kind of a hybrid is a kind of a hybrid number of stages number of stages and third you need to know about the warhead nature fourth with respect to the <coughs> uh, coverage area that's the least mostly they won't ask it nature of the missile stages warhead types sometimes you can go with the propellants the previous year we got the question about the propellants either it uses a solid propellant or liquid propellant so maximum for a missile you can able to cut short your mode of operation with the four point first you are going with the nature of missile number of stages what kind of a warhead conventional warhead or nuclear warhead or it has a combination of both and finally with the propellant coverage need not to worry about the numeric value numeric value is not required particularly if they tend to say that it can able to cover this amount of region it can able to cover the Uh, the whole continent of asia like that if you come across the whole region make an attention to that news rest of the other things that comes in the form of a numeric value forget about it you have to record pay an attention the striking system so striking system deals about the missile next to the striking system the next topic comes in the name called as a patrolling system patrolling system patrolling system is specific about the factual area It's a factual topic. In case of a patrolling, first comes in such a way <coughs> with respect to the aircraft, aircraft, helicopters, military tanks, rocket launchers, missile launchers. canisters canisters and moreover with respect to the uh, gun systems how it says we came across with the word called as danus how it sir vajra vajra how it sir so you need to focus in such a way with these kind of a topic and further we have spoken so far with respect to air and the land one thing to be left out with respect to water based system so floating ships as well as with respect to the submarines now in this case how the question will be there in sense if you come across any such a kind of a new technology then you need to pay an attention for example recently the rafale aircraft got inducted into the indian air force you know about rafale aircraft which generations belongs to fourth generation or 4.5 or the fifth generation you need to pay an attention what is the mode of control electronic control or mechanical control or the kind of a software control you need to pay attention third focus with respect to what kind of a uh, explosive material can handle either with the smart bombs or the normal bombs or with the missiles what kind of a thing it can able to handle the explosive material it is capable to handle so these information is more than enough with respect to any kind of vehicles it can be an aircraft it can be helicopter it can be military tank these are the areas which you need to focus further finally since you are speaking with respect to submarines and other aircraft topics you complete your topic with a word called as nuclear triad systems one of the most important area this type of question will be a concept nuclear triad in sense the country is eligible to conduct 
their nuclear testing, nuclear launching facility in the land, air, as well as in water, they are subject to say that they are nuclear triad. India, of course, is one such a kind of a country to have this triad status. So, try to observe which kind of vehicle can satisfy this nuclear triad. What are the legs of the triad? So, like this, slightly have an ad word with respect to the concept show. That's it with respect to patrol. Make it clear, factual questions will be there. Slightly, if they are going with the concept solution, slightly you need to know about the technology what they are using for the each and every vehicles. Okay. For example, with respect to submarines, uh, if you speak with respect to Scorpion class submarines, AIP is one such a kind of a technology they will be using there. So, Scorpion class comes under the diesel power submarines. AIP speaks for the air independent propulsion technology. It provides a stealth feature to the submarine. That's it. So, these information is more than enough with respect to the Scorpion class submarine. Beyond that, nothing is required for the Scorpion. Diesel power submarine. And moreover, it uses AIP technology. AIP in sense, oxygen is not required. See, only three points you are going to learn with respect to each and every vehicles. Like that, try to structureize and reading all these kind of a topic. With respect to floating ship, purely to be factual only. If you come across our INS Chennai, INS Chennai is a kind of a um, destroyer, stealth to get a destroyers, missile destroyer ship. So, like that, try to connect the topic with respect to the factual. The next segment for the defense technologies. You need to go with respect to the patrolling systems, sorry, uh, surveillance systems. Surveillance system focus with the radar, sonar, UAVs, radar, sonar, UAV, LIDAR, L-I-D-A-R. Here, completely it is factual and try to complete the topic, factual in sense, spot fish, spot fish is a kind of a radar. What is the recent significance? Swordfish had supported recently for launching the uh, anti-ballistic missile. In order to support the ballistic missile defense program, Swordfish radar supported. As well as to connect the mission shakti, Swordfish radar had supported. So like that, read the topic in factual as well as with respect to significance. Significance also is a kind of a factual only, nothing with the concept. So try to read the topic in such a way only with the factual. Radar, sonar and UAV can be a kind of a topic only with the kind of a factual along with the significance. Next, finally, complete your entire defense topic as usual with the miscellaneous current affairs. Miscellaneous current affairs. What can be the miscellaneous current affairs in sense? Recently, we had came across with the word called Garuda and the Garutama. Garuda and Garutama is a kind of a Smart bombs, similar to the smart bomb what we had used for the Balkar strike in the name called Spice 2000 that belongs to Israel. Recently, DRDO had tested the Garuda and Garutama, the smart bombs. You need to know about the, what is the smart bomb, what is the name of this Garuda and Garutama. Um, SAW, smart anti-airfield weapon. Um, next, you need to know with respect to the S-400 Trimuff. So, because already in the previous year, we got a question about the thought. Even though the topic is not connected to the DRDO, we are, we are reporting with the question regarding the defense technology, what other countries tend to have. And in that case, it will be a factual only. So, last, last year, we, last before year, we got received about a question about the thought. In that case, the question is purely factual. You need to know about what is what? What is thought? Like that, yes, for on a time of instance, you need to know about what is this yes, for on a time of that? What is what is more than enough? Since it is a non indigenous technology, you need to pay much more in detail analysis. Detail analysis is required only for indigenous technologies. So, yes, for on a time of. Next, you can go with respect to the. Uh, other things and then that comes in the name called bold QAT. So, bold QAT is one such a kind of a smart fencing technology which we had adopted recently in our country. So, like that, try to complete a topic with respect to the miscellaneous current affairs. So, once you are done, along with the technical and non-technical, along with the current affairs, three segments I have segregated it. So, if you have done it, defense technology will be getting over. Let me give you some samples questions also. See, 2018 question. Regarding to the terminal high altitude air defense, thought. So, thought, if you came across that board, thought in sense, definitely you can able to say that it is an American anti missile system. That is it, directly you can jump for answer. So, this question contains the factual topic, which I segregated five types of a question science and tech. The first, this question comes under the factual topic. Second, the second type of a question with reference to the Agni 4 missile, which among the following statements are correct? See, here comes the concept show. Right. Agni 4. First, you need to have an idea. Agni 4, what is this missile? Whether it's a ballistic missile or a cruise missile. Now we came to know that Agni 4 is a kind of a ballistic missile. Ballistic in sense, surface to surface. Statement 1 is there. Surface to surface. Next comes in such a way. 
it is fueled by the liquid propellant only okay there you have a doubt whether it is a liquid propellant or it's a kind of a solid propellant you have a doubt okay next one it can deliver one ton it can deliver one ton of nuclear warhead about 7500 km array away now here also you have a guess okay nuclear warhead i don't remember whether it have a nuclear warhead or a conventional warhead we don't have an idea 7500 km away numerically also you doesn't remember it but still you have a scope don't lose your scope over here agni 4 is a kind of a intermediate range missile intermediate range missile in sense the range is less than 5000 km 5000 km in sense 2500 to 5000 intermediate range missile which can be the 7500 in sense it should be icbm icbm goes for agni 5 agni 6 that is been icbm so now you are very clear that 7500 won't be suitable for this Agni 4 because 7500 will be suitable only for the intercontinental. Agni 4 is not an intercontinental. So now you can say that I am not having any idea about this warhead. I don't have any idea about this propellant. But I can say that 7500 won't be suitable for Agni 4, 4 in sense. We can say that statement 3 is wrong. So 1 is right, 3 is wrong. Look at an option. 1 need to be there, 3 should not be there. 3 is wrong, 3 is wrong, 3 is wrong. Answer is A. So, still you have a scope, even though you don't have an idea about the second statement, third statement, still you have a scope as a matter of having only one statement as a known statement, you can answer the question. See, for that, you need to know about 7500 is fitting for which missile? 7500 is fitting for intercontinental or which category of missile? That's more than enough. Okay. So, this is a concept based question. <laughs> which among the following is the best description for the INS Astra Dharani? This is what I said the thing. When it comes for a vehicle based question, question will be there based upon the factual only. INS Astra Dharani, that was seen in the newspaper. It's a kind of a torpedo launch and recovery vessel. That's it. The answer is C. We came across, even if you're familiar with this for nuclear power submarine, nuclear power submarine answer goes for the Aryan class submarine, or you can go with this for Chakra class submarine, amphibious warship, you can go with this for INS Airavat, or you can go with this for the uh, Jalaswa, nuclear power submarine, Arihant. Chakra, torpedo things and answer for over here. Nuclear power aircraft carrier. So nuclear power aircraft carrier. So we are developing for the nuclear power, but aircraft carrier we have in the name called as INS Vikramaditya. Okay, so, but it is not a nuclear power. So this is how you need to go for answering. So for over here, it's a pure factual. If you come across the word INS Astradharani somewhere else in the newspaper, you can say that related to the torpedo launch and recovery vessel. That's it. So three types of a question. The first type on the third type which we are seen is a kind of a factual. Second type of a question, what we are seen is a kind of a conceptual question. Let me give an example from our institute question. pre question, institute question. So, which among the following features can be seen with a K4 submarine launch ballistic missile? K4, once a second of a missile, what the DRDO had tested in the recent time. Make it one thing is clear, all the SLBM, what we have developed is a modification of Agni series of missile. Right? So, K4, we have the present of MK1 and MK2. MK1 is a modification of Agni 3. MK2 is a modification of Agni 5. So, anyhow, all the SLBM, whichever we tend to have under the SLBM category, is a modification of Agni only. Even Sagarika K15 is an SLBM modification. Agni 1 or a modification. And next, we are going to have this for K5. That is going to be an Agni 6 or modification. So, like that, Agni missiles got modified into the K4. Definitely, the fourth statement will be right. So, your answer need to have 4. But, of course, D won't be there. So, you will need to find out which is not correct. Okay, 4 is right. Okay, so 4 is right. Fire from the 5th generation submarine. When you come for launching this kind of a missile, what is recorded in sense? Aryan class submarine is recorded. Aryan class is a kind of 5th generation. 5th generation sense, nuclear power submarine. So, third statement is also right. Travels in the hypersonic range. Of course, all the SLBM, whichever you tend to have, travels in the hypersonic range. Capable to carry nuclear warhead. That's the reason you are recording with the nuclear submarine for firing. So, all the four statements is right. And please be very clear in reading the question itself. Question is about which is not correct. This is one of the area where often we used to commit the mistake. We learn the question. We learn the option very clearly. But we never pay an attention in such a way whether it is correct or not correct. So, whenever you tend to learn the statement, first get the word which is correct or not correct. Question speaks about not correct. Everything is getting correct. Answer will be none of them. That's it. Next. So, two topics we have spoken. Space technology and the defense technology. 
the third topic is electronics and the green technology okay so in case of electronics and green technology as per the previous word which i had said pure it's a kind of a current affairs based topic only current affairs based topic only nothing to deal with the conversion in current affairs based topic let me decode some areas which you should not forget to learn it one is the e cigarettes bharat stage norms particularly with respect to bharat stage 6 which you are going to have so learn with respect to bharat stage norms then you can able to focus too specific with the bharat stage 6 hyperloop technology bullet trains bullet trains e vehicles lithium ion battery because this year nobel prize for the chemistry got given for this category lithium ion battery biofuels bio toilets parallel try to have a comparison with the vacuum toilets which we are using the train 18 vacuum toilets and uh, next go with respect to the green crackers green crackers uh, winter grade fuel geo engineering projects because last year we got a question about sulfate aerosol injection technique so it comes under the geo engineering project try to have a glance with respect what are the other geo engineering project we tend to have a u s c technology micro dot technology samudrayan project samudrayan project so like that we are setting kind of a topic so try to structure the topic in such a way focus more with the current affairs purely it's a kind of a current affairs all together if you are putting an effort to structure the current affairs for the electronic and green technology you can accommodate them with respect to some 20 current affairs will be coming that's it so 20 current affairs what we have seen about this electronic and green technology in the past one year of time period okay let's see whether any such kind of a question had been framed by the upsc in the previous year examinations in the contest which among the following do the scientists suggest the use of the cirrus cloud thinning technique 2019 question so cirrus cloud thinning it comes under the geo engineering technology so with the sulfate aerosols so answer goes for the reducing the global warming t so factual question if you come across the geo engineering what are the types of geo engineering directly you can jump for answering next augmented reality and virtual reality please be very clear Question might be looking that four statement is there. It might be creating a panic like such a kind of a scenario. But don't get panic, don't get tense. Four statement is there. Definitely statement will be simple only. They won't use any kind of a Jimmy course with respect to the four statement. Since the statement four four statement is there, all the four statement is a kind of lengthy way statement. What the logic will be there in sense? It will be simple questions only. Simple trap will be there. You should not fall into the trap. Read the statement. Augmented reality is a stimulated environment is created and the physical world is completely shut out. It speaks for. virtual reality actually statement 1 and statement 2 is getting reversed so statement 1 speaks for the virtual reality statement 2 speaks for the augmented reality it got reversed third statement augmented reality allows individual to be present in the world to improve their experience using the camera on the smartphone or pc yes we are closer to the world and transposes the individual providing complete immersion experience yes so 3 and 4 is right answer is palm that's it this kind of a simple trick alone will be there but what will happen sense as a matter of seeing four statement okay four statement is there four statement is lengthier then definitely how i can able to read such a kind of a statement like panic situation will be there that don't worry that it's a kind of a speed breaker question if you are learning it carefully definitely you can able to make these kind of a question to be getting sure shot correct questions don't skip these kind of a question please try to spend at least some about some little bit amount of time period so that these kind of a question will be reserved to your packet it's a kind of a correct question let me give an example from our institute question itself regarding the lithium ion battery 
since the Nobel Prize got awarded in 2019 for the field of chemistry for their contribution for lithium ion battery, can I expect some questions from lithium ion itself? So, lithium ion battery has the least charging capacity. Lithium ion battery, if it has a least common logic, even if you are no, not known about the lithium ion battery, apply the common logic. Lithium ion battery, from the question itself, they are saying that it is being applicable for the e vehicles, automobile sector, they are using it. If it has a least charging capacity, you cannot run a vehicle for a long distance. The logic is getting incorrect. So, now, Lithium ion battery is used in Zen, it should have the most charging capacity, not should be the least charging capacity. So, first statement is wrong. Here, once again, please be very clear and read the statement which is not correct. Right? So, one is not correct, answer can be A, C or D, B can be your answer. Remove it. Complete discharging is required for charging. Come for a practical application. Where you tend to use a lithium ion battery in sense, in case of a smartphone, you are using a lithium ion battery. For laptop, you are using a lithium ion battery. Whether you tend to charge your laptop on the smartphone on a complete discharging only? No. Even if my mobile phone battery percentage shows about 93 percentage, still I can able to go for a charging. So, complete discharging is not required for charging. Even charging can be done, even in a partially discharged condition itself. So, complete discharging is not required. So, second statement is wrong. So, you are answering to have 1 and 2. So, of course, A, C or D also having the 1 and 2. It can be completely recycled, which makes the environment to be cleaner. Make a common logic once again. In one side, Government is promoting for the e-vehicles. E-vehicles need to be there on sense. You need to come out with the battery. Suppose if the battery seems to be a kind of a hazardous battery, which can't be recycled, which is threatening the environment in sense, they never promote such a kind of a battery at all. If promotion is happening in sense, what should be that? Ecologically, it should be safer to use it. That's a common logic we need to have. As a matter of applying the common logic, even though you are unfamiliar, whether it's recycled or non-recycled, apply the common logic. Government never promotes. In one side to go with the new kind of technology, other side to pile with the e, e wastages. They never promote in such a way. Technology need to be born in such a way without creating any hazardous impact to the environment. In that case, you can able to say that statement 3 will be getting right. Apply the common logic. Fourth one is free from the self-discharging. Self-discharging will be there. Once again, go with the practicality. This is what I have said the thing. Reading is not required. Observation matters a lot. If you tend to charge your mobile phone. In the morning time, you are came across with a 100% age of complete charging with your mobile phone. You are never use your mobile phone. After a certain time period, you can able to witness some amount of battery percentage will be getting dropped. Even though in an unused condition, that is called as a self-discharging. What are they saying in sense? Free from self-discharging. Self-discharging never takes place. No, it takes place. Even an unused condition also, my mobile phone tend to witness certain amount of battery source to be getting decreased. Self-discharging, it is there. Free from, no. So, 1, 2, 4. So, 1, 2, 4, answer goes for C. Please make it clear, in order to answer this kind of a question, whether any technical is required, no, no technical is required, friend. Only thing is, go with respect to the common man observation. Observation matters a lot. Connect the topic with respect to your live day examples. This is what the, even the syllabus is saying, that application and development of science and technology in everyday life. Lithium ion battery is connected to your daily life. To fulfill the word which is given in the syllabus, you can able to say that this topic, this question is connected to your daily life. And moreover, this year Nobel Prize got given for this topic, this particular work, so that you can expect a question from Lithium Man. 